Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Komoto Romano. For those of you who don't know me and those of you who are returning, thank you so much for your continuous support and welcome back. So today, as you might tell by the title of this video, I will be doing a my perfume collection slash my top 7 perfumes that I've been loving slash my 11,000 rands perfume collection. I just find myself buying so much perfume. So I thought why not do a YouTube video on all of my perfumes. Most of them are your popular ones, you guys might know them and some of them are not so popular but I'm going to do a review and not a review but I'll be telling you more about them and um, everything that I feel I should tell you about them so without further ado let's get right into it. Um, I'll be showing them to you in a particular order actually I'll be showing you from the ones that I don't like so much to the ones that I'm completely in love with. The first one which is got seven of them here so I'm going to be doing a top seven from number seven going down seven being the one that I don't like as much number one being the one that I love today so the first one that um, I'd like to show you guys is this Michael Kors Wanderlust um, I hope you guys can see it so it's got like an ombre peachy bottle and this I love a lot I got this one from my husband he bought it for me and he bought it in a hundred mils i'm sorry if he sees this and he thinks i don't like it but it's not really my favorite i'm not saying i don't like it i love it it's don't get me wrong it smells good but then i've got better and i've smelled better but this is not the only one that he bought for me so you shouldn't feel bad if you're watching this you shouldn't feel bad because um there's many more that you bought for me that i love i love 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 them see i'm not good with these notes that perfume have but then um it smells spicy and floral at the same time. It smells really good. And this is a Eau de Perfume. This, I would say, you can wear in the springtime because it's sort of like floral. I don't think this would be nice in the winter time. It's not warm. This would be very suitable for like a dinner date with your person that you've known for long. Not a first date kind of thing. This one was 1,000... 1045 rands so yeah i love it not my most favorite but i love it it smells very good I like it if you like something very subtle and how long it will last um in a day i probably put it on in the morning and in about four hours it's not so strong anymore it doesn't last the whole day if you're looking for something that lasts definitely don't go for the michael course one that last but it is the best the next one that I'm going to show you guys is the Yves Saint Laurent one, the Black Opium. I've shown this in one of my current favorites. I don't know which month it was. Let me just lower my tripod because I feel like, as I was saying, it's sexy, seductive. It smells like, it's like something you can eat. It's like, it smells edible. Like, I'm sure if you put this on and then you with Bay or whoever, and it'll feel like gobbling you up. <laughs> if you know you're going out with Bay and you're coming back to the house together, and yeah, you know what I'm talking about, you can put this on. I promise you, he will be all over you. He's not gonna wanna let you out of sight. This smells divine. I know it's my number six, but thing is, I've got better ones over here. I'm not saying it doesn't smell good. I love black opium. It's this it's got like notes of pear orange i've read about these things before i just don't remember exactly but then i know it's got hints of pear and orange i can sort of like smell it it's also floral and it's got like a coffee kind of, of smell it also has got a vanilla scent if you know what i mean so if you like the smell of orange vanilla um and pear you'll love this it smells really good so this is for the nights where you want to go out and be and you want your man to be all over you this is it and the longevity is actually uh, it's much better than the one that lasts it lasts but it doesn't last you until you go to bed at night i've got ones that will last you the entire day which i'm going to get to i'm plugging you guys don't say i did not plug you guys so this smells really good if you want to smell edible and yeah it smells really nice well michael Kors wanderlust would be your you can go to work with that the next one that i have is this carolina herrera good girl and oh by the way this one is the intense I think it's a it's a eau de, eau de perfume. I don't know how to say eau de perfume, whatever it is. 
but I think that was the intense. So I've got this good girl, Carolina Herrera. Initially, I bought this because of how it looks. It looks so sexy, so feminine, and it smells sexy and feminine, I would say. This one I bought because of the packaging. When I went to Foshini the other day, I was looking for perfume. This is, I think, the second perfume that I owned, if not third. So that I bought with my, my own money. So I went to Foshini and then I wanted to get perfume and I didn't know which one to go for. I had initially wanted a Chanel one, which I have. So I didn't find it at Foshini and the lady who was assisting me suggested I try this one out. And guys, I made the best decision by listening to her. This is my ultimate favorite. Yes, they are better, as I'll keep on saying. I'm sorry, this is my top five, this is my number five, but it smells really good. I love it and you're not gonna regret it. Oh, sorry guys. The black opium is 2,050 rands. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that and it's in 90 mils. This Carolina Herrera one is in 50 mils and it was 1,505 rands if I'm not mistaken. I'm just reading the prices on this paper. It smells powerful while being playful and it sort of like gives you that on an edge kind of thing. This would be nice if you're going clubbing and it's like a naughty scent. I don't know if I'm saying it right. So this smells good yeah it's very playful i'd say it's playful and it smells really good um, i wouldn't have anything to fault this it was my favorite for the longest time so i can't turn my back on it now it's got hints of like flowers it's, it's floral it's got a bit of it smells like jasmine so it's got this gold detailing over there and the bottle is navy blue it's literally over there yeah you can tell how much i love this one so much and the micro course one i haven't used it that much because it's not so much of my favorite the black opium i think i've had it for a month if not a little more so yeah the next one that i have is this dylan blue by versace and it's so tiny it's so tiny but so cute and so elegant and it looks expensive that is basically how it looks i haven't had this one for long i think i got it two weeks ago if not a week ago it's in 30 mils when i bought it guys now i'm broke ne? i'm broke i don't have money i don't have all the money in the world i can afford things that i like but not all the time I love perfume and I'd love to get 100 mils for everything but guys these things are expensive and I don't see myself popping out 4,000 rands for perfume I am. but this one was um let's see 1,040 I had like a thousand rand nyana left over from the month and I decided I want to get myself some perfume I really really like it <laughs> yeah it smells really good guys it smells really good it's called the dylan blue it's versace the bottle is blue and gold very nice and royal and luxurious and i'll tell you how it smells just now so i was saying i had the thousand rand and i decided to buy it and then i chose 30 mils a lot of my perfumes um are 50 mils and i feel like there's so much in there so i thought 30 mils won't be that small but yo when the bottle came it was this tiny like it's a joke <laughs> it's literally a joke but anyway this one has got a floral if you'll notice all my perfumes are sort of like floral and a bit spicy that's my type of scent this one smells it also smells of warm i don't think you'll get away with it in spring but autumn would be nice and winter so it's got a floral scent it's a bit woody it's a bit like a granny smith apple yeah a granny smith apple it smells definitely like a granny smith apple if you know dkny the green one i don't know what it's called that was one of my first perfumes it's got a bit of that scent in here like a granny smith apple it's, don't ask yourselves how i know these things i know them because before i buy the perfume usually on edgars if i buy them edgars online i read up about them and it says which notes are like the higher notes the middle notes and the lower notes so that's why i know a bit about these things i'm not good i don't know the difference between perfume and cologne and whatever but this one is a eod perfume 13 mils i would buy this one again and i'll buy it in a bigger bottle because this is a joke to me but anyway that's it on this one this is basically like an everyday perfume scent. Going to work, going out, this is 
yeah it's got some elegance in it it's got that rich bitch attitude it's got that but then if you'd like to wear it to the club i would say it's got that um that dense and seductive kind of scent so i don't know if you get what i mean but anyway it came in a nice packaging it's over there i just i'm just lazy to go get it but it's very cute it also sits on its stand like that and then it's got the cover over here but i'm not going to show you that the next one that i have is this giorgio armani c i know most of you know this one but you probably have you guys probably know the pink one even if you do know this one but like a lot of people like the pink one and i decided i'm going to go for this one the intense sorry it's got fingerprints everywhere it's because it's black so it shows and this i got in 100 mils i bought it i don't remember when i bought it but yeah i've used it quite a bit because it smells so good this is my number this is my number three so you can imagine if it's number three it smells divine it's got this powerful it's got this strong passionate brave i can conquer the world attitude and yeah so this you can wear to work you can wear every day you can wear it's just it's like i feel like it's intimidating when someone that has got c on passes and you've got nothing like you've got no scent on you this is sort of like intimidating and it makes you sort of like like i don't know drop your jaw kind of thing this one will last you the entire day when i tell you the entire day it will last you the entire day you go to sleep and in the morning you can still smell it this one will last you the entire day so if you're looking for something that lasts go for this one the intense guys this one has got a sophisticated and confident kind of like this one requires your heels your designer bag and some wagon if you know what i mean like guys you have to understand what i mean this one gives you that attitude where you want to put your expensive heels on you want to grab your expensive designer bag you want to have your inches like this one screams attitude turns heads like when i say turns heads it turns heads i can go on and on about this one but we're not going to do that it gives you like bitchy vibes it gives you some attitude and confidence not in a bad way but in a good way like it makes people want to listen to you and take you seriously so that is it if that's what you're looking for this is it Giorgio Armani C it smells very good the next one that I have this is also a joke when I bought the the Dylan Blue the Versace one um, I spent like a thousand rand for 30 mils né? and then um, because 50 mils for me is usually a lot I decided I'm going to take the 30 mils in the Dylan Blue plus I didn't have enough money and I told my husband that I just bought myself perfume um, I've been loving perfume so I want to get more and more so after I bought that one I just found a notification on my phone saying I've got like 2,000 rands in my account and when I checked, it was from Bay. And then I asked him, okay, what is this for? Because sometimes he'd send me money for me to buy some stuff for the house, buy a piece of furniture, just like the side tables that I have. But then he was like, no, just buy yourself perfume. I want you to buy that Chanel Mademoiselle that you're always talking about. So he sent me that money and that's what I did. That's what it looks like. Guys, can you see the detailing in that? Can you see how pretty, like it's beautiful, this bottle is beautiful. I think even when it's done, I'm still going to keep it, even though it's so tiny. But I think I appreciate how tiny it is because it makes it even more cute. You can pop this in your handbag. It's actually like travel size. But anyway, it's okay. So um, this time when he sent me money, usually when he sends me money, I buy whatever he says I must buy and I want some change. Because I'm that kind of girl, I love my money. But he gave me that 2,000 rands and I thought I was going to get like a 100 mils. If I could get the Versace one, 13 mils for 1,000 rand, then I will get 100 mils in this for 2,000 rands. And maybe even get a change. Yo, hope God. Go guy. Yo. Chanel is expensive guys, Chanel is expensive, it's a designer brand so it is super expensive, you know by their handbags, everything of theirs, their shoes, it's just so expensive, so what was I expecting, so I went on to the Edgar site and then I chose 100 mils, yo, I think it was 4,000 rands or 4,500 4, rands, so I was like, yo, no, 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 I can't do that, so I decided I'm going to buy the 50 mils, which is almost half of that amount, it was 1,800 and 1830 rands it is worth it though because this one is my ultimate favorite it's my number two on the line i love it and i'm gonna buy it again it's fairly new guys but like 
I think I've used it twice already. This one lasts you the entire day and the next morning, just like the Versace. I think the more, I think the more designer it is, and the more expensive it is, just like the Giorgio Armani, it lasts you. The more expensive it is, the more it will last you. So this one is like 15 mils, but it was close to 2,000 rands, and it is worth it. It smells really good. It's elegant. Um. This one gives you like that powerful feeling, being free, being a woman. When they say something makes you feel like you're a woman, this is it. And it's also got that addictive smell. This is also an Eau de Perfume. It's the Intense. This is also a jaw dropper. When you go past someone, they will notice you. Even if they don't see you, but they'll know that you've entered the room. This smells, I think the Woody overpowers the vanilla but you can definitely smell the vanilla so that's it for this one and my number one i'm sure you guys have guessed it the one that you guys haven't seen so far and you've seen in my other videos that is my number one so as some of you might have guessed it it is this one mark jacobs decadence guys i've had this for a while it's almost finished okay it's halfway through i like how the bottle looks it's got this emerald green and then it's got tassels and then it's got the chain here like it's like a bag kind of thing but i'm always just so scared to hold it like that i feel like it'll just drop to the ground that's basically how it looks and then it's got like a snake print kind of print up here cheap but yeah mark jacobs decadence this is my number one if you know me you know i love decadence this one was um 1595 it came with lotion it came with i don't know what else actually i should go back to that box and check what else it came with because it came with two things on the side i'll check the box but i'm not going to show it to you guys just to see what else was in there this one smells really good i love it um this one when i put it on my husband always notices it he always says oh yes learning what this is what about a perfume yam hey i'm not soothing it was what paper like this one it shuts down whatever he is wearing like he's got the best perfume i won't lie he's got most of these ones but in the male versions and his perfumes like he smells so good like but a smelling good is a form of good manners and i will admit that is true he's always smelling good i won't lie he always smells good he always smells yum and yeah i always feel like his perfume is better than mine but when i have this one on I complain. Like it just throws his scent out of the window and this one stands out. I don't know, but if you've got decadence guys, comment down below and let me know. Or you can tell me which ones here you have. But if you do have decadence and another one, please tell me like if you were to spray both of them in the air, which one is gonna overpower the other. This is very strong. I don't know why, but like yeah, I don't remember who bought this one for me. I don't think was it him i think it was him i don't remember and it was in a gift pack kind of thing this one smells very luxurious and sophisticated like it smells good guys it's got that classy kind of smell and this is a classic guys if this one were to get finished i'm gonna get it and i'm gonna get it again and i'm gonna get it again and i'm gonna get it again. this is actually very nice and it also lasts you the whole day i won't say it lasts you as much as c does and as much as um which one the chanel mademoiselle but it does last you the whole day it's a floral scent yeah it's a floral scent i won't say much it, mm, it doesn't smell edible but yo yeah, it's amazing it smells amazing so this is my number one and in total the price that it, that most of these retail for so this is based on Edgar's prices. Not all of them are from Edgar's, but I based it on Edgar's prices. The total of all of these perfumes were 11,535. I did not buy all of these things at once. 
it was a gradual process so I sort of didn't want to mention how much the total was but I thought it would be interesting just to know how much my whole perfume collection would be and I found out that it's 11,535 I did not buy them overnight I did not take that 11,500 and into the shop and bought all of these things so yeah I got them gradually over time and yeah I must say I'm addicted to perfume these days I keep buying perfume with every leftover money that I have I find myself buying fragrances but it's not wrong to smell good guys it's not wrong there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with me I'm not addicted or anything of that sort this is me consoling myself but anyway yeah so that's about it for my perfume collection guys please feel free to comment down below which ones of these perfumes that i have that you guys also have and are loving or you can comment your current favorite or you can just tell me which one you guys love and think i should buy next yeah so i'll give it a try try it out and then i'll give you guys feedback so please comment down below which one you guys would love me to try out yeah so we have come to the end of our video please do me a favor guys and click that subscribe button you are supposed to do it in the beginning it does not cost you a thing so i think i'm going to give you a few seconds just to press that subscribe button and the bell that is sitting right next to it so that you get notifications every time i upload something new so yeah i'm just going to give you a few seconds and then we can close this off you done thank you thank you thank you it did not cost you a thing it was not painful to do it so i'm going to close this off here i hope you really enjoyed it please don't forget to click that like button comment down below your favorite um, perfume or something that you'd like me to try and subscribe if you didn't subscribe even after i asked you to kindly subscribe but anyway so i will link all these perfumes down below i'm just going to list them down below thank you so much for 1200 thank you so much for 1200 subscribers thank you thank you thank you i can't thank you enough i'm always thanking you guys because you never cease to amaze me so yeah thank you so much for that and i will see you again in another one